Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me tonight for another what's for dinner. Tonight we're going to make some vegan alfredo with some vegetables on the side. Um, I'm going to show you what it is that we're making and of course in the description box I'll include where I got the um, recipe for the vegan alfredo sauce from and get cooking. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright so for the Pasta, we're gonna use these noodles. So I'm gonna get them boiling here. Uh, I'm gonna do it al dente or al dente. And it only takes about 12 to 13 minutes to do that. Um, along with that, we're going to make the sauce. With the sauce, I'm gonna use some raw cashews. I'm gonna soak those to soften them up. A little bit of garlic, some salt to taste, some lemon juice, our all time favorite, nutritional yeast. Um, we're going to use some unsweetened almond milk. Um, it does call for unflavored, but we only have vanilla. It's okay. Just give it a sweet taste a little bit, a little bit. And then, of course, we use our avocado oil to saute the vegetables. And then uh, I'm going to use half of a sweet onion. But this is what we'll use to make the sauce for the pasta. And then I'll show you the veggies we're doing here in just a minute. All right, so I've got the skillet heating up. It may be too hot, though. I've had it on for a little bit. Um, let me see. Let's try. If I put, no, see, it's smoking. <laughs> All right, so let me cool the skillet off for just a second, and then we'll put the veggies in. While we wait on the skillet to cool off, I do have the water boiling for the pasta. I'm going to go ahead and put that in, and then set a timer so that way it will cook in those um uh, 12 to 13 minutes so it can be the right texture so we do like our noodles whole so I just literally take and pour them in there of course I miss sometimes because I'm one handing it y'all <laughs> no worries I'll get them all in there in a second <laughs> oh goodness all right so <laughs> we're gonna get all those into the pot and get them cooking. I only lost a few. As they start to boil down, I'll just swirl them around in the water so that way the ones that are up here will also get in the water and boil as well. Then I will set my timer so I don't overcook them and they're the right texture for the meal. Okay, I think our skillet may have cooled down just enough. <laughs> I'm always being a daredevil testing it. Um, so I'm going to put it back on the eye and then add some oil and put in those veggies. Again, you know I don't use a lot. That may even be too much for me. So I'm going to add some onion to this and garlic. And then we will saute up the veggies to add to the Alfredo sauce. Alright, so we've got the onion in. And I think I may still have it just a little too hot. Yeah, just a little. Because it's cooking pretty fast. It's okay. It'll pop. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. As long as I watch it, it won't burn. And then I'm going to add the garlic to here. And once that softens up some, then I'm going to transfer it over to the blender to mix together the ingredients. Okay, now we've got the garlic in. I guess they're going to just stir that in, cook it down, soften up the onion, and then add it to our blender for our Alfredo sauce. Stay tuned. Alright, so the onion and garlic are all nice and softened up. I'm going to transfer them to a little container um, and then combine it that way it's easy to put into the blender and then combine them with the sauce mix because our noodles are almost done got about three more minutes on the noodle and then we'll be good to go to combine everything together and eat all right we've got it into the bowl we're going to take and put that into our blender got my nutritional yeast Pause for a second. My daughter had this science project at school, and this is her bean plant. It's growing so good. Uh, I like it. I like it. 
Okay, okay, back to the program. Let us get our blender out. And I've already got the cashews in and ready to go. They've already soaked and they're good to go. So I'm going to plug in and start adding in my other ingredients. I've got my onions and garlic. And I'm going to add some nutritional yeast and the uh, lemon juice, some salt, and some milk. All right. So then I'm going to add the nutritional yeast. Um, I always put a little bit more than what it calls for. Mm, I just like it. Um, add a little salt, and I may go back and add a little more. So tweak the recipe to your liking, to your taste buds, what works for you. Um, a little lemon juice and make it taste like you want it to taste it's a good starter to help you like put pieces together but always adjust it to your liking and then I'm going to add in my almond milk this is what's going to make it look like alfredo sauce because of course it's white yay alright I'm going to blend this up and show you what it looks like here in a second all right, this is what the sauce looks like. I did have to go back in and add a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic salt, not a whole lot, and a little bit more salt, and then some Italian seasoning because the milk I have is the vanilla flavor and you could taste the vanilla. So this is what, that's what I use to help balance it out. Now I'm gonna drain the pasta and then combine the two. All right, our noodles are all drained. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the sauce. Yummy. Um, I'm gonna use my other hand and get the rest of this Alfredo sauce out. All right, so I've got all the Alfredo sauce in. I'm just gonna mix that up and let it cook a little bit more to thicken the sauce up. I did reserve some of the pasta water in case this gets too thick while it's warming up. Let's see. I'll allow it to thicken up and then while it's thickening up, I'm going to um, mix our vegetables together. Okay, so I almost forgot that this is a chicken alfredo. So I'm gonna cook up these Morning Star Farms uh, veggie chicken strips and just cook them in some oil. I'm gonna follow the instructions on the back and heat them up. Takes about, mm, we're gonna do half the bag, so about three or four minutes to cook it. And I'm gonna add this to our Alfredo bowls individually versus inside the big pot. All right, so this is what the chicken looks like and what it's looking like. I left it in the skillet that I did the onion and garlic in to give it the flavor from there. Just put a few tablespoons of water in and I'm gonna cover it up for those few minutes and come back and check. The pasta is thickening up. As you guys can see. It's not as loose as it was when we first put it in. And I have it on very low heat sure that it, ensure that it doesn't burn or scorch on us and we lose all the cheese sauce but remember I do have some pasta water reserved if I need it all right so for our vegetables my husband cooked and cooked up for us the California vegetable mix and we got a bag of broccoli I'm gonna combine the two together because this just doesn't have a whole lot of broccoli in it but it does have other vegetables so and I love broccoli Okay, here's the California mix with carrots and broccoli and cauliflower. And then there's our broccoli. Just gonna add a little bit of salt and probably some nutritional yeast and some butter. And literally that's all we add to our vegetables to make them taste yummy. So that's our butter we use. Y'all know the nutritional yeast. And then, of course, my salt. Okay, veggies are all mixed up. Chicken's all cooked up, and the pasta's all ready. It did look like it dried out just a little bit, 
Oops. It did look like it dried out just a little bit. So I'm going to add a little pasta water. Oh, you know, maybe. It might be good. Let's get plated and so we can eat. Can't wait, can't wait. All right, here is our plates all put together. We've got the Alfredo with some chicken on top. She's gonna probably mix it all together. And then veggies on the side. We're gonna go to the table and Lauren's gonna be our taste tester as usual. All right, so dinner is all done. Gonna have Lauren taste it for us and get her honest opinion. <laughs> So, Lauren is going to be our taste tester and see what she says. I'll get some noodles and we'll take some chicken. It's hot. Not that hot? Okay, cool. Phew. She's thinking about it. Seriously, you got pasta sauce all over your mouth. You have a napkin right there. Anywho, America awaits. The pasta has to be 100 out of 10. Wow, yum, yum, yum. And we know she doesn't eat vegetables, so we'll see what she says about the veggies. Mm -hmm. she, it's not that she don't eat, she just don't like them. But does it at least taste good? Okay. All right. So there you have it. Lauren has given her honest opinion about our food. I promise I don't pay her to tell y'all that it's good. She just says yes or no. So I hope you guys enjoy. I don't pay her. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy our uh, episode of What's for Dinner. Can't think tonight. It's it's getting late, y'all. And Lauren wants to. No, I was going to put Lauren back in, but she's full of pasta sauce. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on What's for Dinner. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, Dad wanted to say bye. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, guys. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti Seeks.